in this video we'll be discussing about a concept where without using any fancy formula how to calculate the difference between two timestamp in terms of minutes hours and seconds friends i'll be discussing a super interesting logic here some of the simple sql formula to solve this particular problem so friends do watch this video till the very end because this particular logic can help you to solve lot of different kind of problems onto the timestamp friends without wasting much time let us move directly to our screen but before that don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't let us move to our screen problem which i was talking about is friends you can see here i have two different kind of columns here into one of the column i have timing one and into the second column i have the timing two and i want to calculate the time difference between these two different times in terms of hours minutes and seconds let us simply see how we can do this and formulate a logic so that it is very much easy for us to calculate such kind of differences and believe me this particular concept is quite simple to understand so you can see these particular different timestamps and the difference i presented like 1 hour 40 minutes and 0 second time difference is there let us see how to solve this particular problem and first of all the very first step which i'll be doing here is getting the difference between these two different timestamps in terms of seconds First of all, let us get uh, this particular data, the difference between both of these timestamp in terms of seconds. So let us write the query here for that. So I would write here select star comma date diff. So I need to provide here in what terms do I need to get the time difference. So I need to get the time difference in terms of seconds. So I would write here second then i need to provide the very first timestamp and the second timestamp and i would rename this column as time difference in seconds and from the table name i need to provide here so the table name is details let us execute the query let us see what is the output which we are getting so friends you can see the difference between both of these timestamp i am getting the answer in terms of seconds so this will be converting the second value which is being generated here in terms of hours we know that 60 seconds is equal to one minute and into one hour how many minutes are present 60 minutes are present so the number of seconds which is present in one hour would be 3600 the time difference which i have got here in terms of seconds and we know that in one hour it is 3600 seconds it is present here so if we just divide the time difference in seconds with 3600 we'll be getting number of hours which is present here the difference in terms of number of hours what i mean to say is let's say i will just take a value here which is 6000 and i'm saying i'll just so let us take a value here which is 6000 so this is the time difference you can see in seconds which i have got and we know that in one hour how many seconds are present 3600 seconds are present so that simply means that in two hours 7200 seconds would be present in three hours let's say is equal to three into these many seconds would be present so if we have this number here and if we divide this number let's say 6000 time difference which we have got in terms of seconds and if we divide this number with 3600 we will be getting number of hours how many has been elapsed till now between both of these timestamp so i would just divide let's say e3 would with 3600 you can see here i am getting in terms of decimal numbers and this is perfectly fine if you would just see because if let's see if the time difference was 7200 that means that two hours has been passed the time difference was 10800 it would simply mean that three hours has been passed between both of these timestamp but here you can see i'm getting 1.66 
these 0.66 value which i am getting here it simply means that okay the time difference is less than two hours but this one value which i have got here it simply means that for sure one hour difference is present between both of these timestamp but the time difference is less than two hours so that is why we are getting in terms of decimal number so i would take into account this one which i am getting here so i would just open this particular website which i found online divide two numbers so i'll be getting quotient and remainder here so i'll be using this particular quotient and remainder thing to help you understand this particular concept so what was the division which we were doing so we were dividing this difference thing which i was getting in terms of seconds with the total number of seconds which was coming in an hour the total seconds in an hour is 3600 so the time difference in terms of seconds which i'm getting i'm dividing both of these numbers so whatever you can see whatever one one would definitely be the quotient in this case so whatever quotient i am getting here so that simply means that that is my number of hours that has been elapsed after this whatever let's say x minutes and y seconds are there so we are just removing these things for now we are just concentrating on how do we get the r value so 3600 i would just put here into the dividend you can see i would just put here 6000 and into the divisor you can see i am putting 3600 so you can see i am getting the quotient as one and the remainder as 2400 so i would just right here i would try to get the quotient from this particular answer and that would be my r's value which has been passed in each case if if you would just think of for example into this particular example 11700 which i am getting so instead of let's say 6000 it was 11700 so you can see it simply means that the time difference is obviously greater than 3 hours because 11,700 is greater than 10,800 and 10,800 means 3 hours has been passed. So the answer which will be getting would be greater than 3 so you can see I am getting 3.25. 3 definitely means that 3 hours has been passed between both of these timestamp. So the quotient whichever I will be getting let's say 11,700 I would just put it here instead of 6000 11700 so you can see the quotient which i'm getting this forms my hours part so the quotient which i'll be getting this is my answer for the hours like the number of hours which has been passed so you can just think of like a bucket of water is there and the measurement of that bucket is 3600 liters of water and there is a tank which is needed to be filled so let's say if the tank is being filled with five times only so that means that the capacity of the tank is 5 into 3600 liters so simply that is the logic which i am applying here i am just taking the time difference into seconds and i am dividing that with 3600 and i am just taking the integer value from there so it simply means that okay my hours part is sorted whatever is the remainder which is coming that is for sure is less than 3600 and that cannot be converted into a full integer value in terms of so that would go into account for minutes that is for sure so that is why we are trying to get a whole number by dividing all those difference in seconds in 3600 and after the quotient which we have got that forms the hours part and the remainder which i'll be getting that number would definitely be less than 3600 because of that only the number was not being able to divide by 3600 we are getting a certain remainder so we'll be tackling upon this remainder value to calculate the minutes part after this so the hours part is sorted now now coming to the minutes part let us see how to do this but before that let us write the query to get the hours part value see i'm getting the time difference in terms of seconds so this number whichever i'm getting let's say i'll be dividing this number with 3600 and i am just concerned with the quotient which is coming here to calculate the hours like the difference in terms of hours so i would just paste this and divide this by 3600 so this is my r value so i would just execute the code so friends uh yeah i'll just remove this so friends you can see i am getting the r value in terms of integer and this is exactly what is the answer which i was getting in terms of 
my excel also which i was doing so for 11700 you can see i'm getting 3.25 and this particular integer number which i was getting year three before the decimal places that forms the number of hours which has been elapsed between both of these timestamp and the fraction part which i was getting after the decimal places will be taking into account for calculating the minutes part because this particular fraction i am getting this definitely means that this number was not able to divide itself with 3600 that is why i am getting some remainder value here so you can see 2400 i was getting here okay 900 i am getting here and 900 is less than 3600 so it is is impossible to divide so that is why i'm getting a remainder as 900 now let us use this remainder so let's say uh, some remainder is left after i've divided this particular number so this i'll be using this remainder to calculate the minutes and later on i'll be calculating the seconds so the difference which i've got here the in the remainder that is also in terms of seconds and we know by the same logic that in a minute how many seconds are present so in a minute 60 seconds are present so we need to divide this remainder which we have got with 60 to calculate how many minutes have been passed through the same logic which we have calculated the r value so i'll be using the same logic for the remainder part also so you can see i'm getting 900 here i'll be putting 900 and you can so as i've discussed 60 seconds are present into a minute so i'll be putting 16 to the divisor and you can see i'm getting the quotient again so i'll be taking quotient again and these many minutes has been passed between both of these timestamps and the remainder which i'll be getting i'll be again taking that into account and the remainder answer whatever i'll be getting that forms the seconds which has been left between both of different time stamps see i'm getting the r value let us somehow get the remainder also what is the remainder which is coming when we are dividing both of these numbers like the seconds value like let's say 11700 i want to know the remainder also because from the remainder only i am able to calculate the total minutes that has been passed so i would also calculate the remainder so to calculate the remainder when we divide two numbers in sequel i'll be writing date diff so i'll just copy this only so but let's say for this particular query it will produce the time difference in seconds and i'll be di dividing this number with 3600 to get the remainder so the remainder which i'll be getting i'll be utilizing this number to calculate difference in terms of minutes so this particular column i would rename as meaning seconds for minutes let us execute the code so you can see here i am getting the remaining seconds so 11700 i was dividing it with 3600 and i had got the answer so i would just remove this 11700 i was dividing this with 3600 and you would have seen like we are getting the remainder as 900 so again we are using this remainder to calculate the minutes using the same logic so we need to get this remainder thing so after i've got this remainder thing i would again divide this remainder with 60 because for calculating minute we know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds so out of these particular seconds which are remaining after i've calculated the hours the seconds which are remaining i would want to calculate how many minutes have been passed within these seconds and into the remainder after i have divided both of these numbers into the remainder whatever i'll be getting that would form my seconds at the very last so let us divide the number which i am getting here with 60 to calculate the minutes so i'll just divide this number with 60 to calculate the minute i'll again run the code execute the code so you can see i'm getting the answer here 15 minutes 22 minutes 40 minutes 
after these all numbers have been divided by 60 i'm getting the answer here now after these numbers have been divided by 60 i want to get the remainder also and that particular remainder would be exactly my seconds which has been elapsed so i'll be formulating or doing the same steps which i've done for calculating the minutes so calculate the seconds which is being remained after we have divided both of these numbers so i'll be applying the same concept which i have applied here for remaining seconds for minutes so i'll again calculate remaining seconds to calculate the total seconds so i'll try it or copy paste the same code from here here i want to get the remainder so that is why i need to use this percentage sign and i would rename this as remaining seconds for seconds let us execute the code so friends you can see zero seconds are present into the remainder after i have divided this particular number with 60 so i hope deep down you are able to understand what i'm trying to do here i'm just trying to get all these values in terms of whole numbers and i'm just trying to formulate onto the next part of the things which i am calculating so let's say if the value of the difference was 6000 the difference in terms of seconds was 6000 so i'm just calculating okay how many hours would i would get from this 6000 seconds difference so for that i would divide with 3600 because in one hour 3600 second is present so i need to divide that number with 3600 to get the difference in terms of hours and after the remainder whatever is remaining i'll be calculating and operating into that to calculate the difference in terms of minutes so friends this is how we can calculate it and this is how we can get difference in terms of hours minutes and seconds so let us formulate this output a much more better way so i would just copy this code paste it below remove some unwanted columns from here this is for hours this is for minutes this is for seconds and i would use the concat function so this is for hours i've got hours i'll just mention this this is for minutes how many minutes have been elapsed so i'll just write this and this the last one is for the second spot yep i think everything is done now let us execute the code yes friends so we have got our correct answer so you can see we are getting the difference in terms of hours minutes and seconds so i hope the logic which i have formulated into this particular question was quite uh, simple to understand and if you had not understand this particular logic i would request you to watch this video again try to understand this quotient and remainder thing which i have tried to formulate it here into much more better way so that you are able to understand this particular concept so this is quite a simple one i believe but even if you are confused you can comment down below your doubts and i would try to answer that particular question or your doubts or you can reach out to me on to the instagram as well so friends i hope you had found this video quite informative mission and useful so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye